The solemn songs from the choir echo through the loudspeakers. It was a gathering of many senior retired officers and serving ones. As his body was wheeled to the podium, it dawned on many that the warrior was no more. On any little thing, I didn't know flare up. And yet his name is Majao. <laughs> he, he was a fantastic man. And uh, he, was a, he was a fighter. In the army, there are some who are fighters. Some are barrack, barrack officers. We know each other. But he is, is an example of a true soldier. This person is somebody that um, means a lot to the military. Because uh, during the, particularly during the Civil War, he was one of those people who conducted, who, he conducted the famous Bonnie Landing. The Bonnie Landing, without the Bonnie Landing, the history of uh, Nigerian Civil War would have been a different thing today. And he spent a lot of time with his children discussing and explaining things to us. We are a very uh, verbal family. We talk a lot. So I think that is what I will miss. He has some very set views. Eh? If you had failed to read the book that he recommended, that could fetch you a flogging. When he was around, he made you feel secure that if, if a thousand lions come and attack you, he could do, protect you and look after you and you're still all right. Um, I, I, don't, I will never have that again. The words of one of the hymns could be said to be true for Adekunle. Then it was a private burial as earlier announced at the funeral service. Full military rights were bestowed in honor of a man described by his colleagues as a fearless soldier whose courage and action brought a quick end to the country's civil war. This happens to be the end for a man who was dreaded and nicknamed the Black Scorpion. Adekunle can be said to have come, seen and conquered. The late Brigadier General Adekunle may have fought and won many battles, but death was inevitable for him as it is for all men. Ivy Kano reporting for TVC News, Lagos.